the only other thing that I have is data uh, the whole thing with the SOA right um, not sure if that matters much because well <laughs> Here I'm just going to maybe copy some stuff so that this is faster. Hmm. Hmm. Any questions, guys, that you guys have regarding this stuff? How does this work? Why some things like that? So I wanted to talk a few f more things. Just uh, this is the final chapter because it's uh, ufa. It's going to be like three hours. Sorry, guys. I hope that this has been uh, <laughs> productive, interesting. Is there still anybody in the chat? Cool. There's still some people in the chat or left the window open. That's smart too. I appreciate it. Help <laughs> helps my ego. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I think that on Twitch it just stays for 14 days. I think this is the thing. And then I think it just cleared automatically, but I'm thinking of, because I'm also saving it, hopefully. Um, so I'm planning on probably putting it on YouTube, just uploading it there. Um, so, um, so one of the things that I wanted to talk is just, because people talk a lot about this thing now became like the thing about just data oriented right it's just oh you need to be data oriented and whatever and you just I don't know and there's two components here one that I think it's really really important to mention and the other one is that SOA stuff so the SOA stuff I can just maybe uh, maybe just mention it really fast let's go to level zero um, So the way you can do stuff, so let's say, is that you have entities, right? And for the sake of argument, let's say that the entity also has, uh, 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 again, is visible. So if you, when you normally do this kind of stuff, you go, okay, entities. Uh, and you go, okay, I want an array of 64 entities, right? Entity. Oh, I forgot to bring our print. Press this. Right, so this is the thing that a lot of people like after that you just go like oh SOA and if you just align your memory and you pass everything oh, what am I doing if you pass everything like in vectors then the CPU will build and whatever Java um, so this is the thing that no I messed up I messed up so this is the thing that basically when you have an entity you just have 64 in a row right so you have 
the one in zero, then you know all the data, right? So in memory it's like this, and then you have the other one again that, and then you have another one that, and then uh, but then they're like, no, but this, you know, this is not. They, you need to be more data oriented and whatever. And they did this initially as um, built into the language, but then they stripped it out. And this was what we were checking a bit a while back. And it's at the moment in this file that is not even a proper module at the moment. It's just there. I'm not sure if they're going to make it a module or not. So you need to load it like this because it's outside the modules. Um, but the thing is that you can do something like this. Right, and it's an SOA of entity. Uh, no, I think it does like 64 entity. So then you can just go print variable and it's SOA. And if this is right, no, it is not. What did I do wrong? Let's just see how the SOA thing is defined. Uh, 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 uh. So it's the type first. Um, oopa. Right, and now this is this polymorphic structure that has all the IDs together, and then it has all the bulls together, and if you had you know more stuff, all the vectors and whatever, but they're all together. Right, so that if you need to do something that goes through all that is visible, you know you're going to get them all in a row. You're not going to be jumping in memory to get more and more and more. Right, and uh, and I think that this is cool and whatever, but it's it's cool for when you when you have to do really low level stuff. Right, if you have to do particle systems or if you have to do uh, I don't know animation right moving the bones or something like this like stuff when you get to that point it's really interesting and whatever but this in this language generally doing this in language is super hard and this language is just super easy like it's even done at the level of the user you can do this right you can do this basically he goes like he does a string builder he just says oh by the way free the builder which is something we didn't do free the string builder uh, the, the memory at the end just defer it to the end he casts the info of the structure and he just goes like, okay, for all the members, write to that string uh, the name, the the end that is going to be passed here, because remember, this is going to be like text. It, this is going to write the text, so this is how you would write it, right? And then you pass the type of uh, it.name, right? And this is going to build, and uh, I'm not sure if I can see it here. Let's see. Oh, yes. Um, is it here? Uh, see? Like, it's, it's actually pretty cool because we see this stuff. So, this code that got generated, right? He prints it to this uh, added strings, whatever, yeah? And this is the actually what's being put there. So it's actually pretty interesting because you can see this. You can also see, oh, am I building this right? Is this what I expected or whatever? There's a place where you can look at this and see what this is. But also, you know, it's like, oh, okay, cool. So now uh, I have this uh, data oriented thing. And now how do I get, you know, entity zero, right? Because this is then the problem. Because then entity zero is just scattered. It's like the zero index of the ID, it's the zero index of the is visible, it's all of this, right? But when you print it here, look at that, right? So the way this works is because they also have an overloaded operator. And what the operator is, it is and in functions this is this is to build structures at the moment at least, and this is to build code for uh functions I think I think that this does not work for functions uh, and basically it just goes like okay run this code and then insert whatever is the output of this and this statements is just some function somewhere I don't know where this is now there it is so it's passing here the type and it's format string where is it where is it where is it so it's passing you the type so it's whatever type is this thing that is passing and by the way this is restricting this is saying okay Sure, this is a template, but this template needs to be a SOA, 
So if you would pass here an entity, this function cannot be called. So it's a restriction of the template, right? Um, and then it grabs that information and it's just going to do this. And basically, if, you know, it's just going to grab that and build it so that you can then have a... Um, uh, something that basically is going to build an entity with all those individual things, right? Um, so that's uh, pretty, pretty interesting, right? Because it goes like, okay, create the result and then go result dot whatever is the SOA dot whatever at that index, right? So you get, you get to have the, if you need to work in this, if you want to work in this uh, structure of arrays thing, this is the thing because it allows you to do the structure of array, but then it also allows you to fetch the data in an interesting way because then you're working with entities, right? Not with some, oh, now I have, now my entity is just this information that is scattered around. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so that, anyway, I didn't want to, to, to dwell on this because this is the bit, I don't know. To me, it's, I get it, but it's not that interesting. It's not because if it's like, if you have to worry about this stuff, then you already, you know, you need to be already with a lot of stuff to, to worry about because most likely you're just doing something much, much worse and you're just not seeing what you're doing, right? Like uh, whatever, some the way you're iterating through things or whatever is much worse. So I just wanted to talk about something that I think is far more interesting that is, and this is the last thing, um, I promise, that is because the two things about, you know, doing stuff fast in memory, in programs is keeping your memory um, in a row, right? So for example, you're going through, and we you know it's uh, CDP, we, we did this kind of stuff, right? So instead of you having something generic that you just go update, you go like, okay, I want to update all the lights. I want to update all the projectiles. And you have these systems that go through them, right? So you'd have something that goes like, okay, um, I don't know, you'd have something that goes like, uh, so let's call it like doors, let's say door system yeah and this has like um, just for the sake of argument has like a, an array of 1024 doors right uh, right and then you would have something that just goes like update and it receives the doors it can be a view, right? Whatever, right? And then you'd have the same kind of thing for the lights, right? So you'd have something that just goes, okay, I have the light system that has all the lights, and then you just update all the lights. So this is all fine and dandy and it's like, yeah, this is the way we want to do stuff. However, this implies that this guy has the ownership of those doors. This guy has the ownership of those lights. But we have here that no, the structure has this, right? The door has the entity. So the thing is that it's also pretty cool is that you can do this, right? So then what happens is that you know, and because you're having the using, you can also go uh, like some entity, right? And then you have some light, and then you can just go light dot entity. I think what they call it, yeah, dot entity. Oopa, is equal to the pointer to entity, right? So. And you can also then go, you know, like, what did we have that would print the... Ah, it's gone. So, uh, some function that takes... Um, entity pointer, right? can just go light pointer and 
what did I do? Boop, 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 boop. Uh -uh. I'm not... Right? And that's it. End of demo. Thank you very much. I'm off. <laughs> so that's it. Like this is pretty cool because you can still have, you know, the memory alignment. This is giving me the memory alignment. This is giving me the code alignment, right? So that you know I go through all the the lights and I call the same code, you know? It's 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 giving me the performance, but it's giving me also like structured code in a nice way, right? And it allows me to you know use it simply right it's 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 pretty cool it's it's turning out pretty good um and i'm hoping that you guys are interested in this language and i'm hoping that if you are go to his channel he has tons of hours literally like maybe close to those uh, i don't know 100 hours or more maybe even of of just Either he's talking about the language or, or the, the implementation or the game engine. Check them because this is really cool. And uh, that's it, guys. I don't know. Do you have any questions? Anything that you want to, to know? Yes. Uh, our Lord and Savior, uh, Jonathan, uh, has its own uh, cross, too. We sell them, these pendants. It's very interesting. Or just go back to using Lua, yeah? Go back to Lua, yeah? <laughs> and this is still like so... Uh, there's so much stuff that I don't think you guys realize until you get your hands on it and how fun it is to use it. Because uh, like it has tons of stuff here that has... Oof, like stuff that he's already giving and it's just easy to use and whatever, like... Um, GL stuff and and SDL and stuff like this like it's already just ready to go it's it's you know it's it feels like this doesn't feel like a beta version this feels like okay it's something that's already pretty pretty stable and you can do a lot of stuff and really easy right because he abstracts a lot of these things to this I'm super jealous that I don't work with uh, Lou anymore Anything else, guys? No? Then I'm going to cut this off. Thanks a lot for hearing me. And I hope that, you know, this will uh, put a bit of J into your lives, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thank you. Papa. When is the next one? Uh, I wasn't planning any. <laughs> it was supposed to be. This was supposed to be. Like I thought. Oh, maybe I'll cut it at one hour. And then when I realized we were almost at two, and I was like, well, but now it's almost so close to finishing. But maybe in the future I'll do something because, like, we haven't touched anything with the compiler. We like the compiler, the, the compilation. You just do it in this thing, right? And it just, it, it's it's really powerful. It's really interesting. And the things you can do with it, it's, it's, it's just super, super cool to see. So maybe in the future something regarding the compiler, or um, or maybe I'll just start... I'm not, I'm not sure if it's streaming, maybe not, because I'm not a streamer. <laughs> but um, I may... I did this uh, Tetris cloner a long, long time ago. It was the first thing I did ever, and I may... Uh, no, I stream for free. But I may... Um, redo that game just as a fun thing in in uh, in J and see how it goes and maybe I'll just put it on github or whatever so what somebody can just download it and see how the language is and whenever it's available you can just get it and, and just compile it and run it and whatever okay cool so thank you guys take care and uh, see you next time I miss you too man I miss you too say hi to Philip <laughs>